There's one thing that every living creature on this planet will face during their lives, the end. But for some, the inevitable conclusion to our time on Earth isn't such a foregone conclusion. Lifespans aren't so set in stone and the lucky ones can go on to live almost forever. As with everything, it's not necessarily the nice friendly ones either. So here are five of the scariest creatures that live forever. Before we begin, make sure to hit the like button, subscribe to our channel and click the notification bell for more amazing videos every day. With that being said, let's begin. Number 5. Greenland Shark Greenland sharks, as the name would suggest, are mainly found in the freezing waters of the Arctic Ocean and Northern Atlantic and are frequently seen around the island of Greenland. They're closely related to southern sleeper sharks and swim to depths of up to 7,200 feet. The species is an apex predator in the waters that it inhabits and mainly feeds on fish like other sharks, herring, eels, cod and flounder. They aren't exactly picky with what they choose to eat though and some specimens have been found to target much larger prey with remnants found in their stomachs of seals, horse, reindeer and even polar bears. They grow to up to 24 feet long and can weigh as much as 3,100 pounds but the adaptations they've had to make to survive in such a cold environment means that it takes them an incredibly long time to fully reach maturity. They're one of the slowest swimming sharks with a top speed of 1.6 miles per hour, which is half the speed of their main prey. Studies have shown that they grow as little as half an inch a year and probably only reach sexual maturity once they're 150 years old. Specimens that have been tested appear to be much older than 300 years and the current estimate for a Greenland shark's lifespan is around 400 years although it's quite possible they can live far longer than that. This means they have the longest expected lifespan of any vertebrate species and this knowledge has significant consequences for their conservation. If they need to be alive for one and a half centuries before being able to reproduce, then it's important not to catch them any sooner than that. It's not like they provide a decent meal to humans though. Their lifestyles that take them so deep into Arctic waters means that large concentrations of toxic compounds build up in their flesh to enable them to survive. While they are eaten as a delicacy in Iceland, the meat has to be carefully treated first to make it fit for human consumption. Failure to do so can result in effects that appear similar to being extremely drunk. Now it's time for the star topic. Everybody knows turtles and tortoises can live for a seriously long time. Most famously is Harriet, a Galapagos tortoise so old that she was owned by both Steve Irwin and Charles Darwin in her time, living from 1830 to 2006. It was obvious that a turtle or tortoise of some kind would end up in this video and we've chosen this ugly guy. We've elected him as our star topic because as the original clip is not in English, we're not exactly sure what's being said. So we can't tell what kind of turtle or tortoise it is but based on the look of it, it is very old. Could it maybe even be immortal? Let us know in the comments if you think there's a chance. Remember to comment down below with the hashtag, hashtag star topic and we might pin the comment that best explains what's being shown on this image. With that said, let's keep things moving. Number 4. Red Sea Urchin Sea urchins are the scourge to any swimmer or divers who are unfortunate enough to tread on one and more worryingly is the fact that one species is one of the longest living animals on the planet. The Red Sea Urchin which is found across the shallow regions of the Pacific Ocean is known to be able to live for at least 200 years without any signs of aging whatsoever. This means they probably exist for far longer than this but currently we have no way of testing this for certain. Of course they face dangers from predators but biologically speaking, a 100 year old red sea urchin has just as much chance of living for another year as a 10 year old one does. Surprisingly, the older they get, the more apt they are at reproducing and there doesn't appear to be a time when they become incapable of producing sperm or eggs but they do stop growing once they've reached the optimum size for their environment. They grow very slowly to about 6 inches across and move across the seabed to eat plants. The spines protect them from predators and were once blamed for the decay of ecosystems where they were present. In the 1970s, they became a valuable commodity when they began to be sold to Japanese customers who regarded some of their organs to be a delicacy. This led to the urchins being one of California's most valuable marine resources for export by the 90s at a time when it was thought they only lived for up to 15 years. The new understanding of their lifespans raises questions about the ethics of harvesting them in this way because it would take a long time for their populations to fully recover but they're so prolific that they aren't under threat yet. Next time you're in the water and see one of these creatures or a served one in a restaurant, just remember it's probably been alive on this planet for far longer than you have. Number 3. Naked Mole Rat Naked mole rats are native to East Africa and they're extremely weird creatures. 
They work together in highly efficient social structures, are perfectly adapted to spend most of their lives underground, and are the only mammals that are able to keep their body temperatures wildly different to that of their surrounding environment. They generally grow to be up to 4 inches long and weigh 1.2 ounces, but larger specimens have been found, and their queens can be many times that size. As they spend most of their lives underground, they are adapted to digging in a similar way to a mole and have rather poor eyesight, instead relying on their sense of smell and touch. Naked mole rats have no pain receptors in their skin and have unusually low metabolic levels and rates of breathing. They have been of interest to the medical community for a long time because of their resistance to cancer and the way that they can survive without oxygen for as long as 18 minutes and now recently it has been discovered that they hardly age. This may be to do with their disease resistance but studies have shown that their risk of death doesn't increase as they get older, something that is the case for every other species of mammal. The chance of a human dying, for example, roughly doubles every 8 years after they are 30. This is something that is seen across the animal kingdom, but the evidence proves that naked mole rats buck that trend. Once they reach maturity at 6 months old, their chances of dying are about 1 in 10,000 and this even reduces a little as they grow up. Researchers have suggested that the reason for this lies within the rodent's genetics. Their DNA repair is far more efficient than in other animals and they have a high level of what are known as chaperones, which are proteins that are present to ensure that other proteins behave properly. This is how they avoid cancers and stave off the signs of aging. Quite how long a naked mole rat can live for is not known though. Specimens kept in labs rarely get beyond 15 years, but this is because they are either dissected or moved on to other facilities. The evidence that has so far been collected suggests that they could live for many hundreds of years if their biology continues to remain unchanged as they age or if it does, maybe they don't live much past 30. Number 2. Puget Sound Geoducks Geoducks are one of the strangest looking specimens of clam in the world and are found in the coastal regions of Canada and North America. They are the largest type of burrowing clam with shells that can grow to be 8 inches long and siphons that can be up to 3.3 feet long. They can weigh as much as 15 pounds and are often served in restaurants as a delicacy. Despite their creepy appearance and apparently delicious taste, geoducks can live for an extremely long time. Following a larval period of almost 2 months, they barely move for a further month and then burrow into the sand to start feeding. They reach full size by the time they are 10 years old but can go on to live for much longer than that. The oldest one on record was measured to be 168 years. But again, this is just an estimate and there is no reason why they can't go on to live for much longer. Their relatively inactive lifestyle is thought to be the main driver for why they can live for so many years, as once they have burrowed into the sand, they will stay there for good. The siphon reaches out and sucks in water which they filter to remove foods such as plankton and other microscopic life forms. Amazingly, a single geoduck will produce and release around 5 billion eggs in their lifetime. A very small percentage of these are ever fertilized though and along with other threats like predation on the eggs and larvae means that it takes a long time for lost populations to recover. One estimate suggests that it can take as long as 39 years to replace stocks that have been taken by fishing. For this reason, strict quotas are set on how many can be captured each year, which further adds a premium on their value, with the largest selling for up to $225. Number 1. Turritopsis dornai while there are many animals that live for an unbelievably long time, there is only one species that is currently considered to be biologically immortal, a species of jellyfish called Turritopsis dornai. There are tiny species of jelly that live in oceans across the world and their trick to avoid getting old and dying is simply to revert back to an early stage of their life cycle. Their lives begin as a fertilized egg. When this hatches, a larva called a planula emerges. It will swim wherever the ocean current takes it and when it finds itself in an opportune position, will stick to a solid surface like a rock or a boat. It then goes through a transformation to become a polyp, which is similar to a coral where it has an opening at one end that functions as a mouth and an appendage at the other that holds it firmly in place. It filters the water for nutrients and grows larger, even in some cases forming multiple polyps in one place. Once it is fed enough, it will grow a bud which will detach and this is what turns into a juvenile jellyfish. At first it is known as an ephora and then it matures into an adult which is called a medusa. The process is typical for a range of species and at this point it is capable of reproduction. In the case of Teratopsis dornai though, this is far from the end of the story. If it faces a threat that would otherwise end its life, it is able to turn itself back into a lump of genetic material, similar to how it was when it first emerged from the egg and can attach itself to a surface again to grow as a polyp. Furthermore, 
there's no way to tell how often a species has gone through this process, so it's possible there are some that have continued on like this for thousands or millions of years. Researchers looking into this particular species also believe it to be unlikely that it's the only one that's capable of this, so we could find out soon that there are far more jellies and similar species that have been living for a lot longer than we had previously thought to be possible. Which of these creatures would you hate to encounter and would you want to live forever if you could? Make sure to let us know in the comments section. Also, check out our other cool stuff showing up on the screen right now. See you next time.